Uh, a very good afternoon, good morning, good evening from wherever you're joining us. Um, my name is Olayomi Koiki. Uh, I'm also the spokesman for Chief Sunday at the uh, more popularly known as Igbowo. Uh, today is the 1st of July 2021, uh, the time from the southwest of Nigeria. It's exactly 10 minutes past 10 a.m. Uh, I would now like to give a little bit more update on the situation that has been taking place at just about 1.30 a.m. today uh, when uh, the Nigerian military and also uh, information that we've now been able to get involve some kind of um, other assailant people that was... Um, brought into the compound that are not Nigerians. Uh, they were speaking French language uh, from the information that we are now updating. Um, these individuals, military and the people that came down to Chief Sunday Bowo's house were more than 100 in total. Um, first and foremost, whatever information we're giving now is also in regard to more update from what we have been discussing in the last three hours. I can now officially confirm that two people were killed right inside Chief Sunday at DMO Igbo's house today in the early hours of this morning. Once again, the Nigerian army and the people that came down along with the Nigerian army. It was not just the Nigerian army. Uh, they also have a kind of um, other uh, military that you might want to call organized came in, that came with them as well. Two people were killed inside Chief Sunday, Igbo's house, these early hours of this morning. I can also confirm officially that the dead body has been taken away by the military that invaded, wanted to assassinate, wanted to kill Chief Sunday at the Yemo Igbowo at the early hours of this morning. The whole incident started just before 1.30 a.m. Again, I can confirm officially from latest update that those that came are not just Nigerian military. They were not speaking uh, the normal language that we speak in Nigeria. They were also speaking French language as well. I repeat, those that invaded Chief Sunday Bowu's house were not just speaking our local language that we all know, whether you are Igbo, Yoruba, Aousa. These individuals were speaking and the voices of the sound coming out is not the Nigerian language that we know. So I can now confirm officially that they were also expatriates or those that were employed to come along with the Nigerian military to invade. They wanted to assassinate Chief Sunday Igbowu. I can confirm that the target for that particular invasion at the early hours of this morning was pointing finger right into Chief Sunday Igbowu himself. Uh, we will continue to give more update on that. I can also confirm officially today 1st of July 2021, that 10 innocent people that live inside Chief Sunday Bowu's house, 10 innocent Yorubas that live inside Chief Sunday Bowu's house, today, the 1st of July 2021, right in his residence in Soka, have now been taken away from that resident, and I can confirm they are making their way now, taking them to Abuja by the DSS and also the military. Let me say this again clearly. This is the latest update that we are giving out. The 10 innocent Yorubas that were living inside Chief Sunday at the Yemo Igbo's house are now making their way to Abuja as I speak to you right now. Uh, they are being mobilized, uh, you know, taken to Abuja. We're in Abuja, we cannot confirm that yet, but we are also monitoring and following all the latest development. But we can now announce officially the information that is coming up to my hand, uh, that the 10 people that were removed inside that house are now making their way to Abuja as I speak to you right now. 
Once again, this is the latest update coming right from myself as a spokesman for Chief Sunday at the Yemon Igbowo, which I can also confirm is safe, but I won't go into too much details uh, you know, with that. I can also confirm that those that came inside the house were not just uh, wanted to kill Chief Sunday Igbowo, they were also armed robbers. Every, uh, every materials found inside his house have now been moved as well. When I talk about the materials, I'm not talking about the vehicle that you saw that has been damaged. I am talking about, you know, money was moved out of the house. Jewelries were stolen out of the premises as well. We are not talking about 10, 20 jewelries. We are talking about multiple jewelries uh, belonging to Chief Sunday at the Yemo Igbowo were also taken away from this invasion. So it is not just about somebody coming into your house to kill you. It is also people that wanted to steal along the line as well. I mean, if they were coming in as armed robbers, we would have said these are armed robbers. They wanted to kill Chief Sunday at the Yemo Igbowo. That was the aim target. He was the main target across the whole uh, scenario that took place uh, at the early hours of this morning. I can confirm authoritatively from the latest update that they are not just Nigerian soldiers, they were also expatriates that were involved as well. And they were speaking the French language from the information that has reached my hand in the last 20 minutes as well. I can also confirm that the whole property have now been damaged completely from the bottom to the inside, from outside, the exterior, the interior, uh, everything has now been completely damaged. Uh, we have all these as well, uh, you know, we're gathering all the evidence uh, as we continue to update you, you know, uh, as we come online as well. Uh, also, uh, I can confirm that the uh, the press statement that has also been released by Professor Van Kitoye. I'm going to be reading that out uh, for the benefit of those of us that have not heard about it as well. Once again, this is the latest update that two people that were killed right inside the premises have now been taken away as well. Uh, I, I won't show, uh, I mean, we've seen the image uh, earlier on that we started the broadcast, uh, those for you, those that were following us. But this is the trail of blood that you can all see there in the broadcast this morning. These are the trails of blood. So those of us are, that have, have been able to visit Chief Sunday at Igbo's house, you will know that the, when you get into the house, he has what they call you know, a, a guest, a guest um, confinement. It's not just the guest. Every part of the house was ransacked. Every part of the house has got bullet hole. Every part of the house had a lot of collateral damage. It is not just the vehicle. We are now talking about two innocent Yorubas were killed right inside Chief Sunday Adeyemo's Igbo's house at the early hours of this morning. And we can only pray for the souls of these two individuals. The body of those that were killed have also been moved by the, uh, by the military that invaded the house as well. This was a planned attack. Uh, we know that. Uh, we have evidence to that. Uh, the the um, the highway, which is the one leading to Soka, was blocked in between. And if you were traveling this morning, you would have thought maybe there was just the normal traffic. But those traffic were stopped while the operation was being carried out right inside Chief Sunday at the Igbo's house at the early hours of this morning. So um, that is about that for now. Also, um, information reaching me also indicate that um, there were not all putting on the normal face mask or the, you know, the camouflage to cover themselves. Uh, they also have their faces open. So this means that these are, you know, uh, uh, people that are assassinating, you know, that came down to assassinate somebody. I mean, yes, some of them have the face cover on, uh, which we have, you know, the evidence to that. We are keeping those evidence that we'll be tendering later on, you know, to the international bodies, you know, at the right time for now. But let's quickly uh, read the update uh, from the uh, from the uh, Ilanomo Dua, you know, Professor Banji Akintoye, and this press statement was released in the last one hour. Once again, my name is Ola Yomiko Iki, and uh, you know, so many information out there, but whatever you're listening to from this side is exactly what took place and how it all started and how it has continued to, uh, you know, continuation of it as well. Um, this is the update 
And let me just quickly read that out there, you know, for those of you that are with us uh, this morning. Uh, this press statement was released just an hour ago, uh, you know, from the uh, leader of Ilanom Odua, uh, Professor Banji Akintoye. Um, press statement, Yoruba nation, element of Nigerian army, accompanied by international terrorists hired by the Nigerian state, attacked Sunday Igbo's resident Akintoye, says the assailant speak French again. These individuals that came to the house were not just speaking the Yoruba or speaking the, you know, the other languages that we have in Nigeria, but they were speaking French, French, and the, you know, why, before I continue with that, they were asking to know exactly where Chief Sunday Bowles was in the house, and, uh, you know, they were ransacking everywhere, uh, and I'm sure some of you must have seen those images as well. Um, also, um, the... The assailant speak French. Uh, according to this press statement, uh, even though I have said two, but they said uh, you know seven occupants were killed. Uh, we know we have injuries as well. Also, I can confirm that uh, you know one of the wife of uh, Chief Sunday Bowo was also whisked out of the premises as well. Um, we are holding Buhari responsible, according to the statement. Uh, describe the attack as cruel, irresponsible, callous declaration of war against the Yoruba people. Um, calls for mass protest. This is a statement coming out from Professor Banji Akintoye to all the Yorubas at home and outside the country that we should not go out for a mass protest in front of our palaces, the king palaces in the Yoruba land. On, uh, you know, in front of the United Nations, in front of the U.S. Uh, you know, embassy across the world, in front of the British Parliament, across you know, French and the European Union and African Union offices, we are expecting you now to make your way and start going out for a protest to what has taken place right in Ibadan at the residence of uh, Chief Sunday Igbo today. Um, he also says, Yoruba Nations Rally, we hold on Saturday, July 3rd, as scheduled. Again, according to Professor Banji Akintoye, the Saturday, July 3rd rally will go ahead as planned. The leader of the umbrella body of Yoruba self-determination groups, Ilano Omo Odua, the emeritus Professor Banji Akintoye, has reacted to the invasion of the Ibadan or your state residents residents of Yoruba nation agitator Chief Sunday Igbo at the early hours of this morning. In a statement personally signed by him and made available to newsmen by his communications manager, Mr. Maxwell Adelaide Akitoye, a renowned historian, alleged that the attack was carried out by the element of the Nigerian army who were accompanying uh, I, I repeat that again, who were accompanied by international terrorists hired by the Nigerian state. He has also alleged that the assailants were all dressed in military uniform and spoke French language fluently. I repeat that again, those that came down to the house were you know, dressed in military uniform and spoke French fluently. He further said that the gunmen killed you know, uh, people in the, in the building and also whisk away Igbo's wife and several others that I can also confirm now that those that were taken out of the house are now being on their way to Abuja uh, as we have that information that has reached us as well. Uh, this is an emergency response to an emergency matter by Ilano Omo Odua around 1 a.m. today, Thursday, 1st of July, 2021. The Ibadan Oyo State resident of the leading man in our struggle for the self determination in Yoruba land, Chief Sunday Adeyemo, fondly called Sunday Bowo, was unfortunately attacked by the gunmen. Also, I want to say to the whole world that the attack was carried out by the element of Nigerian army who were accompanied by international terrorists hired by the Nigerian state. Uh, 
the assailant, like I said, spoke French language frankly. Uh, you know, people were killed, uh, you know, and their corpses have been taken away. Those that were killed, the Yoruba that were killed in that house uh, were people that uh, I know very well. Uh, people that you might probably have seen sometime, you know, doing some of the, you know, uh, you know, uh, those of you that engage or visit the house. I can tell you two Yoruba people have now been killed right inside that premises and so many injuries as well that we are still monitoring those that are in the injury and, and those that have been kept in the hospital and taking treatment as I speak to you as well. Once again, Yoruba people were killed at the early hours of this morning right inside Chief Sunday Bo's house. Also, uh, this statement continues to say, let me state without any fear or intimidation that Muhammadu Buhari led administration was responsible for the war that has just been declared against the peace loving people of Yoruba land. This statement is coming from our father, Professor Banji Akintoye. I'm going to read that again. Let me state without any fear, Professor Banji Akintoye saying, or intimidation that Muhammadu Buhari led administration was responsible for the war that has just been declared against the peace loving people of Yoruba land. So that means officially we have now been saying for a very long time the federal government have declared war on the Yoruba people as of today, the 1st of July 2021. Also, I continue to read the statement out. We have been peaceful from the inception of this struggle. We have adhered to with both the Nigerian and the international laws guiding the agitation for self determination. All our agitations have been peaceful, orderly, and lawful executed. We have commended the officers of the Nigerian police many times for being professional in their modus of operations in relating to our protests and rallies for self determination in the Yoruba city. Therefore, I say, according to Professor Banja Kintoye that released this statement an hour ago, therefore I say, on behalf of the Yoruba people, that the attack on Chief Sunday Bowo's house was unnecessary. Unfortunate, wicked, callous, cruel, irresponsible, illegal, and uh, also the uh, you know the you know the atrocious as well. We are holding Muhammad Buhari led administration for this barbaric attack uh, on Chief Sunday Bowo's president and the killing of those within the house and so many injury, so many blood wound as well, and so many people that we are still monitoring in terms of the attack that took place uh, at the early hours of this morning. Also, uh, I call uh, a, a barbaric attack. This is a declaration of war against the peace of the people. Again, Professor Banji Akintoye says, and I call it, this is a declaration of war against the peace-loving people of the Yoruba. I call on our people across at home and in the diaspora to immediately begin mass protests in front of palaces in Yoruba land and the opposite the office of United Nations, European Union, British, French and United States government. We want to confirm that the pro-Yoruba nation rally scheduled to hold on Saturday, July 3rd in Lagos, we proceed as also we have been saying. That is the statement from our father, Professor Banji Akintoye. So you don't need to take any other order. You don't need to take any other information. If you're in UK right now, you should be making your way to the Parliament Square. You should be making your way to right in front of number 10 Downing Street. If you are in America, this is not about calling the show anymore. This is not about putting comment out. You need to get out now and start making your way to the front building of the United Nations and demand that Nigerian government have just declared a war on the Yoruba people as well. If you are in French, if you are in France, in Paris, you need to be going out there in front of the building. You need to come out in Germany, in Italy, across the world. That is the world of Professor Van Jackin. So you're not my world. He has the, been the leader. I am just taking the statement and reading it out to so many of you out there, Yorubas across the world as well. Once again, uh, my name is Olayomi Koiki, and this will be the end of the broadcast. We'll be coming back more for latest updates as we continue to update you on the latest situation that have just taken place in the heartland of Yoruba land, not just Yoruba land, in one of our main man, 
known as Chief Sunday Igowo, where we have lost souls. We pray for those that have died. We pray for those that are still, you know, uh, from the bullet wound that has uh, also been attacked. There's so many injuries. We can't give you all those details at the moment, but we'll be updating you, you know, in due course. So make sure you stay tuned to so many of our platform as well. Uh, please do not listen to any mainstream media. They would distort that information. Whatever we are saying, we have every evidence, and not just you seeing it from some of those media. They've started posting the pictures of the owl damage out out. It's not that the building were damaged. People were killed right inside the house as well. Have a very good morning, and bye for now. Oh, oh.